The biggest international prize in architecture, the Pritzker Prize, will be awarded tomorrow in London. It is going to an architect known for his work on buildings that address social needs, particularly in African countries. This year's prize also makes history as Francis Carré becomes the first African and the first black architect to earn the honor. Jeffrey Brown has the story for our arts and culture series, Canvas. A primary school built in 2001, the first in the village of Gando, in the West African nation of Burkina Faso. Its very existence, plus its use of local materials, natural light, and ventilation, have made it a game changer for its community, for the field of architecture, and for its designer, Jibedo Francis Carré, who'd had to leave his home here at age seven to attend school in a nearby town. Going to school is still a big, big dream for millions of young people in Africa, you know. This is still a big dream. And so, uh, you know, I was very, very lucky and I felt privileged to be able to attend school education. What do you do if you're privileged like I am to be one of the very first from my community to attend school education? So I went back trying to build a school for the other kids. So that was how I started my career. That career, after a scholarship later allowed Carré to study in Germany, where he continues to work, has now won him the Pritzker Prize, architecture's highest honor. But he's never forgotten the experience of sitting in dark, stifling classrooms as a child. You had very tiny little openings, and you had no light inside the classroom, while outside you had the bright sun. So I wanted to create a school to, in my village, to allow other kids to stay in the village and be able to attend education. Education is so important for human development. But I wanted to have better classrooms. I wanted to have well-ventilated classrooms. I wanted to have bright classrooms. I wanted people to feel happy going to school. Last year, a New York Times survey named the school he designed in Gando as one of the 25 most significant works of post-war architecture. And Carre, now 56, has continued to define and refine an architecture of social purpose. Schools, housing, health care centers, and more. Mostly in Africa, always working with limited resources and using simple materials such as wood and clay. Carre often works closely with community members, at times including them in the building and even helping raise funds for projects through a foundation he first created to help build a school in Gando. This doesn't sound like the normal activities for an architect. Yes, that, yeah, this is right. It was not easy. It was not the normal way. I needed to create this structure in order to raise the needed money to be able to build a school. And, and we succeeded, honestly. And it was good. You know, it's a great experience. It, for me, it was the best thing that I could do, you know. Why has it been so important to involve the community, even having them help build some of these buildings? Yeah. No, it's really important. It's about how do you transfer knowledge. If you build a school and you have the community be involved, there is two things that are happening. First of all, you are, you are getting the community really become proud. The common sense. It is we. It is our school. And, you know, they will protect it. So the second thing most important is knowledge. You are diffusing, you are transferring knowledge, and then you're making your community even stronger. At the end of the day, I am the one that gained a lot from that. I have a happy community that have a school, and I'm very happy. And, you know, I am giving even to talk to you, you know, to talk to you, Jeffrey. Can you imagine? Carré's firm designed the Serpentine Pavilion in London in 2017, and he's shown a whimsical side in so far limited work in the U.S. Colorful towers for a 2019 installation at the Coachella Music Festival. A structure called Xylem at the Tippett Rise Art Center in Fishtail, Montana. Among his recent or ongoing projects, the Benin National Parliament now under construction the Goethe Institute in Dakar, Senegal, a community playground soon to open in Kampala, Uganda, and in the design stage in Germany, a bridge in Mannheim, and a kindergarten in Munich. At the heart of every project, he says, are the people he's building for, especially in his home region. And I realized, wow, I have not just only created a structure, but I am changing the game, how people see things, you know? 
people in my place that love the West. You don't know that. They love the West. They love your culture, you know, and they want to have it. But often we don't have educated people to get our people to benefit from all these achievements in science, you know, in design, in economic innovations. And I did with, with architecture, I did this for my people. How much does that translate to work that you do in Europe, in the U.S., in work that you will do? But first of all, my work is transporting optimism. Um, it's looking how we can learn from past and to create something that is refreshing by applying material that are not causing a heavy burden to the environment. So these issues are not just for a poor a poor, you know, community. It is worldwide, you know. Another way in which this prize is important, Kare is the first African and first black architect to win the Pritzker in its 44-year history. It's just history, and I am part of it, so I am taking it. It's a great, great honor, a, a big privilege, if it can inspire others. But about the field of architecture, that is something we have to know. Studying architecture is very expensive, and... Uh, Access to any kind of education in Africa, where you have most black people living, is also not easy. And then there's the cost of building itself. But Kare believes that an increased focus on the kind of work he does can help change the larger field of architecture. In the moment, there are more elements that can contribute to architecture than in the past. The social component is being seen as something that is important. Climate issues is important. And so um, I am very happy that my work has become where this was uh, needed. But I, I wish that the world will create more schools in Africa so that we see in near future more inspiring examples from Africa. And I hope many of them will win Prisca, you know, for sure they will. <laughs> All right, Jebedo Francis Kere, congratulations again and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. I love that he says he wants his work to project optimism.